now when we are done with the uh, gesture creation or gesture implementation it is uh, important for us to know what are the things that was behind and you know when we when we go further what are the things which we need to understand or to learn to make our understanding much better than we have right now definitely designing the natural user interface actions as, as I have already talked about we should be considering the different locale cultural information and all and the behaviors of the people before making any without making any assumptions so that is something which we need to we should read through you know computer vision fundamentals so I have uh, I have skipped that part uh, when we were doing the gesture based implementation the flow that we were looking at but we should definitely have a look at the computer vision fundamentals and how it works something like how normal edge detection works how do they do so easily what happens you come up with your stream you have your stream but what do you do with that how does it work normally so definitely we should have a background to it before proceeding further so that you know it makes us much more much more comfortable so taking an example like how edge detection works what it does it takes the particular portion of the image or the area of concern for us and we try to you know build up the gradient vector what is gradient vector gradient vector is something like how the intensity of the color or the value of the color is flowing right so in that particular reason and based on that if there is significant change in the intensity it catches it as an edge so that is something which we will learn when we go through the computer vision fundamentals and I definitely recommend that and definitely there is a uh, there is mathematical learning as well we need to we need to go through the bit of linear algebra like how matrix works because it's all about matrix the inverse, the transformation, linear filters, everything works on metric. So definitely we should look at that. And how the projections, how the different planes work, the 3D model, and how how the depth are being calculated, everything. And remember that if you are having multiple devices using which you, you want to process something like kind of 3D thing consider the depth the infrared interference into picture how gonna use uh, your gesture based application maybe you, you should look at the graphic programming this is also useful because how you gonna show Right, show the output to the world. Maybe it can be a normal window graphic application or something much more complicated. So definitely a big beginner's hand is required on that part. And bit of basic physics if you are working on any of the games application to involve the gestures, definitely reading for the basic physics will be required. So I think those are the key points which we wanted to discuss. We can definitely start picking up any of the tools that we have. Start can we? We can start with the simple webcam and any of the open frameworks which we have, like OpenCV. Just try to create some application out of it and see how it works. Thank you.